Good morning, YouTube. It's Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. How you doing? I am well. I just made myself a cup of coffee. Would um, I use the Keurig? However you say it, I always feel like I'm not pronouncing that right. And I use Starbucks cream, a that caramel macchiato one. Oh my goodness. Today I nailed it. You know how you make yourself a cup of coffee and you nail it. It's just right. Yeah, that's a good cup of coffee. Much needed, much needed. Um, today I wanted to read a quote that I just had by none other than Jay-Z. It says, I would not lose, for even in defeat, there's a valuable lesson learned. So it evens up for me. I would not lose, for even in defeat. <laughs> That's a good one. There's always a lesson. Sometimes we feel disappointed, confused, unsure of the next step. And we look back at our life because all of us have these plans. And this is how my life is going to come out, you know. You know, I got married. You all know my story, most of you all. I got married at 22. Um, my hope and prayer, you know, at that young age was the American dream. Get married, down the road, have a couple of kids, you know, the White House, the picket fence, and all that other jazz. Now, life couldn't be, <laughs> it's so different from that. I mean, divorced a long time, a um, couple of bouts with cancer. Both of my parents ended up passing away. They were a little bit younger. You know, they, they were in their, both of them were in their 60s. I couldn't have seen any of that coming. Um, the, the kids, having kids, that was okay. I kind of was, the, I was the type, if I did, cool. If I didn't, I was okay. So that wasn't you know, a burning desire for me. But my life doesn't resemble anything that I had um, pictured. But some type of way, we have to make peace with how God allows our life to transform. Yeah, I could get on here every day, and you all will unsubscribe eventually if I did that. But if I got on here every day and complained about, you know, having cancer, but I have to switch that up and say, but he healed me. Who was he? God. He healed me. He left me here for a reason. And although my life did not turn out how I had it planned, I'm still alive. All is well. I'm in a good place. Even when we are defeated, we feel we're defeated. It's still a lesson there. That's what Jay-Z is saying. I remember going to school, getting my bachelor's of art degree in business, graduating. Um, that degree was, that was okay. I didn't connect to business, never really did. I just took that um, route because as a high schooler, I went to a vocational high school and I was a business major. But my heart and my soul was always music. I always wanted to be a singer. Um, and it's still my heart and soul. That's like one thing that I could do, I could sing for like three hours and think it's just, it's, it's just fun for me. That's my passion. As I got older, I always liked psychology. I remember taking a psychology course when I took, got my bachelor's and it always like resonated with me. After becoming ill and becoming a life coach, that felt good. I always like to help people better themselves. Knowing that I really connected with being a life coach is what led me to be a therapist. And that doesn't feel like work when I'm helping people. So see, even when you feel defeated, okay, got the one degree in business, eh. But still, some of that business degree I use to keep my side hustle, my, my therapy practice business going that's my administrative skills my administration skills my organizational management skills that's what my degree was business slash organizational management so I am using that degree even when I felt defeated from getting it and I was waiting on my salary to um, 
you know, rise. I just didn't see the benefit of getting that degree. I graduated in 2002. And from 2002 through 2012, I really, I really didn't see much come from that degree, honestly. But it's okay. Um, by 2012, things started to pan out for me. You know, after years of being laid off and let go and all these other weird things that happened, I saw where that degree was finally being used which led me to where I am now. So have you ever started a business and it, it fails? So you think, I think most, a lot of businesses fail at least two times, three times before it actually succeeds. It's all about how you look at it. It's all about the words that come out of your mouth. It's so easy to feel negative about your life. And Please don't compare yourself with nobody. Oh, my God. Kiss of death. Kiss of death. If you ever want to make yourself depressed, start looking at celebrities. Start looking at your friends. Be like, why? Why did this happen for them and not me? It is like the worst thing you could ever do. God has a special path for you. Your life is not my life. And I know, I know what I know what you're saying and how you feel because I have those same thoughts and feelings too. Sometimes my life, it don't make no kind of sense to me. I'll be like, I don't even know what's up. You know, I have an idea of where I'm supposed to be. I kind of had a career thing somewhat figured out. And I really need to be grateful because I spent many years hating my career. You know, I was in purchasing business. I was like, oh, this is so not me shuffling these papers around. Now that I am, you know, a therapist or in going back to my counseling during the day, I feel like, okay, yeah, the career thing finally panned out, but that took years to get to years. So I'm just saying all this to say, going back to what Jay-Z said, sometimes when you feel like you're defeated, it's really a lesson learned. Uh, Alicia Keys has a song called Lesson Learn. Hers about hers is about heartbreak. But sometimes even in heartbreak, that's our greatest lesson. Not going to do that anymore. You know, you learn, like, when, once you accept bad treatment, you're not going to accept that again. That'll never happen to me again. Once somebody gets you, it don't feel good to be got. What, what somebody tell me is never any fun when a rabbit's got the gun. <laughs> It's never any fun when you get got. Don't feel good. Sometimes when you have your heart broken, that's when you learn your best lessons. Sometimes when your business deal falls apart and you lose a chunk of money, you learn your best lessons. Sometimes when someone is um, a fake friend or, you know, these managers at work, they can really be kind of weird, a little phony. And when you come up against these people, you really appreciate a sincere and authentic friend, a sincere and authentic mentor, manager, role model. So next time you feel defeated, like, man, that didn't work out. Oh, there might be a lesson wrapped up in there. You're going to be greater later. You're going to be bigger, better, stronger later. You can't save your kids from life's lessons. I know I know you want to, but that's how they learn because that's how you learn. It didn't kill you. You're still here. Life's experiences is the best teacher. Someone could talk to you until you blew in the face. And trust me, everybody know what you need for your life. They going to tell you because they know not... <laughs> Because they don't even know what they need for their life. But they can tell you. It's almost humorous. It's almost humorous. Any video I've done. Any podcast I've done. I only speak about things that have happened to me. That I have experienced. I would never get on here and lead you astray. I was going to do a video about this program. Where you can rent a house instead of buying one. And I went and checked the reviews. And they were horrible. And I was like, oh, my God, I wouldn't dare 
I wouldn't dare put this out there to my listeners. I would never put something out here intentionally or without doing my research and it bring you harm. That That's not cool. So I just want you to know that I try to do everything with sincerity. And most of the stuff I talk about, I went through, going through, know a little bit about. And that's that. So don't worry about defeat because in defeat, that's how you learn your lesson. I'm closing out. Tammy Sharice Walker. I am a licensed social worker, therapist, and a friend. I hope you have a beautiful day. God bless you all. Love you all so much. Thank you for subscribing. All the likes. Thank you for um, enjoying my community tab. You all are the best. You all are the best. Bye-bye.